All right, greetings and welcome back. I hope everybody had a great spring break. Um, it is now April. Um, happy School Library Month to all of uh, everyone out there. Um, today, as we roll into April, and we start getting into the later months of the school year. I want to go back and stress and show how all of our users can see what they have checked out. Um, this becomes very important, especially for our seniors that are getting close to their final days at Carlson High School and are looking forward to graduation. And one thing the district does and the school does is make sure they get all of their items back and they get, um, um, if something is not returned or damaged, they get their um, fees paid. So I'm going to show you guys, uh, remind you how you're able to go and see what you have out according to the district. Um, and the value of those items and any fines or fees you may have. So um, how does that work? Um, I am now on the Carlson homepage. It's the easiest method to get there. And um, we're not gonna use Destiny Discover for this. I think the, the standard Destiny works best for this. Um, and again, the quickest way to get there is on our homepage, um, uh, jibdisc.net slash Carlson. Um, and then we're gonna go down and then here in the middle of the page, um, you have two options, um, the Destiny Discovers here, but if you just click this one here, it's gonna take you to our district um, page. Uh, we're gonna select Carlson High School. And again, if you don't remember, your login is your student number, starting with 2000 or 2001 for all of you out there. I have this um, fictitious account that I use with nines. Um, and then your password is your last name, your full last name. You click that and log in, and then you are going to then see a couple things are gonna change. Your name is gonna appear here in the upper right. Um, the home and catalog are there the same, but you get this very important tab. This is where you're going to all want to go. This my info tab. You're going to click on this and you are going to be taken to your, your info, your patron status. And that is what everyone wants to go and look at right now, because this is going to, um, tell you what you have out. Um, there's, there's a library section. Now, Monty Marauder here doesn't have any library books out, so there's nothing to worry about. There's no library books checked out. Um, then resources are either one of two things or either um, textbooks or any sort of technological uh, technology items. Your Chromebook is going to appear there as well. You can see that Monty Marauder has a um, Algebra 1 book out. Um, there's a, the value of the item. Um, and then you get the date that the item was checked out, okay? Um, most due dates for things of the current year are going to be later in June um, of the current school year. Now, if you have other items from previous years, and your Chromebook, for example, may be checked out from previous years, these letters, these numbers here may appear in red. Um, there's no overdue fines for items. It's just saying that that was a previous year. There's nothing overdue. As long as these things get returned, this Algebra 1 book, the Chromebook, and their eyes are watching God, none of these dollar amounts will matter, um, again, as long as they're returned in good workable condition. So um, what do you need to do as you search this and check this? You need to search and check and see what you have out. Now, if the items you have out, you know of, and they're, um, you know these are things you're using, and okay, no big deal. Um, you return them um, when you're done with them. Um, textbooks and library books can be returned anytime in the blue bin located outside the library doors. Um, technology items, obviously you're going to use those right up to your final days, and Mr. Begaman, I'm sure, will host a uh, collection for those. Um, if there's some items on your list that, A, you don't have any longer, um, B, you have no idea where they are, um, or you have some fines, maybe some items were returned and there was damage, um, if it's a textbook or a library book, you want to come and see me here in the library. Um, and we can discuss and see what can be done to resolve the issue. If it's a technology item, um, like a cracked screen or a lost charger, that you're going to have to handle with um, our technology department, the Gibraltar technology department, and uh, Mr. Begaman. I can't do anything with those. It is important that you come and talk to me. One reason why I want you to come talk to me, these values that are set by the district are for new, brand new items um, and replacement costs. I can work with you on these prices and these numbers and find ways for you to um, still take care of the item and replace it, but not at the cost of $98. I'm gonna use this example right here. This Big Ideas Algebra One book is $98. I was looking around earlier today on Amazon. Um, you can buy it from various resellers used for roughly half that, if not less. Same with a lot of these books. This, Their Eyes Are Watching God, the district that was $14 back when, back when it was purchased. You can probably get a used one for definitely half of that. And then you just bring me that item and I will um, delete the item from your list and you won't have to worry about that amount. But again, 
That's by being proactive and coming to see me. If you wait until last minute, if you wait until senior breakfast, June 2nd, um, you are going to end up paying these $98 prices, these $14 prices to take care of these items. Again, we don't want anyone to have to pay any of these items. We don't want there to be any issues. But if there are and stuff happens, we get it. Um, it's best to be proactive and come see me. So come see me. We'll talk about it. We'll work it out. Some of the stuff is old enough even that we may just be able to take it and wipe it out. Um, we have some older books that have been removed from circulation and use, and you don't even have to worry about them anymore, but they're still on your list. So again, come see me. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. And again, it's very simple. You just, um, as always, you just log in um, with your student numbers, your username, your password, and then the tab is right here, the My Info tab, and then everything that you have out is listed there. That's it for this week's tip. Um, please pop in if you have any issues or problems or questions um, with um, finding what you have out or needing information, and I'll be glad to help you. Have a great April.